history of the bombing began here in the Gulf of Tonkin. An incident between North Vietnamese torpedo boats and American warships started it. The Americans claimed the right of retaliation and launched the first airstrike. Even now, as they talk about peace in Paris, attack aircraft are screaming off the deck still here in the Gulf of Tonkin. 20 tons of supersonic aircraft are hurled to flying speeds in less than two seconds. An average of 50 to 100 missions are flown off these carriers in every 24-hour period, sometimes by day, sometimes by night, all over North Vietnam. While the area of bombing in the North has been restricted, the number of airstrikes and the amount of explosives drops have actually increased. It's estimated that about 65% of all of the American airstrikes against the North are launched from the carriers here in the Gulf. The primary objective of all of the missions, described in a general way as Air War North, is to interdict the supplies of men and material en route from North Vietnam into the South. Out here, the war is so impersonal that sometimes it's hard to realize that it is in fact going on and what the issues are all about. The officers and men say that they deliberately don't think too much about these things, claiming that they can't without jeopardizing their lives or the lives of their comrades. It's been argued that possibly the United States should risk a bombing pause in North Vietnam. Stop for a while, sniff the political winds to see if there's any reaction from the other side. And if not, then to renew the bombing again. The hope being, of course, that during such a pause that the negotiations in Paris might get down to business in earnest. But such arguments here are rather academic. For here in the Gulf of Tonkin, it's business as usual, and that business is bombing. Bill Cunningham, CBC News, aboard the USS Constellation in the Gulf of Tonkin.